Hi, everybody. Joe Chaffee here, weather in five, five days and five minutes. And coming up tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast, it's the calm ahead of the two storm systems that lie ahead. One for Saturday night into Sunday and then a second one for Tuesday into Wednesday. And the second one's going to probably have a bigger impact overall uh, because that is going to be a big wind and rain event. Uh, but the snow is coming for some areas. We're going to talk about that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast at 7.35 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. So uh, on the satellite loop this afternoon, uh, you're having a nice day up and down the eastern seaboard for the most part. There are clouds uh, back in Ohio and Indiana, western Pennsylvania, West Virginia and western New York. Uh, there's a break uh, behind that, that uh, runs right over Chicago, and then you've got more clouds as another upper trough comes in. This has been a problem uh, for several days now with these systems in the northern jet coming through, but at least today uh, we're seeing a nice day along the east coast and also in the southeast and in Florida and back through the Gulf states. It's very quiet. There's a storm developing off the Carolinas that's moving out to the east, and there's some tropical moisture and Rain that's developing in Texas, that's going to be another low that'll be moving across the Gulf states tomorrow into early Thursday morning, then off the East Coast and heading out to sea after that. And the energy for the Saturday storm is now beginning to come into the West. And you can see this big arm of clouds running through California, northward, on up into Washington state, and then swinging out back into the Pacific into a low that's offshore. As we check out the radar across the country, it's fairly quiet with some exceptions in uh, Texas where we have some patchy rain in central Texas and on the west coast with that energy that's coming in with that Saturday system. Now, I want to spend a little bit of time with WPC, the Weather Prediction Center's uh, snowfall forecast for the law in the long range, which is their long range for Saturday. They've just updated it and they've expanded uh the uh, area of uh, potential snow for at least a few inches and uh, also raise the probabilities a bit. So in that uh, darker blue is a 50 to 70 percent chance for at least two or three inches. And that gets into northern New Jersey uh, and also points north and west, as well as into Connecticut, Rhode Island and much of Massachusetts. The dark green is a 30 to 50 percent chance. So this is for Saturday night into Sunday morning. Uh, the dark green, 30 to 50 percent, that extends all the way back into Ohio. Uh, the lighter blue is a 70 to 90 percent chance for at least a few inches. And those red blops that you see in West Virginia, Western Maryland, and in uh, Southwest PA, that's a 90 percent or higher probability. Uh, the light green is 10 to 30 percent, and that covers mainly the immediate coast, uh, the C Cape Cod, Long Island, coastal and southern New Jersey, back down into Delaware and then south and east of the Washington, D.C., Baltimore area, extending into western North Carolina. So uh, we have got no weather issues to speak of when uh, getting there. There really isn't a whole lot happening that we have to worry about uh, over the next several days, other than these uh, weak upper troughs and associated weather fronts that will be coming through in the northern jet. And there's not really much in the, in the way of moisture with that. There's your ocean low that's offshore now that's moving out. Here's your gulf low that develops, moves off the southeast coast Thursday morning. Uh, earlier, uh, back a few days ago, the models were trying to bring this precip up the east coast. Instead, it's getting all suppressed to the south and east uh, and out. Uh, we'll get a shot of colder air behind that. Uh, temperatures uh, the next couple of days will probably be in the low and mid-40s for highs. But by the time I think we get to Friday, Friday might be a day where temperatures have a tough time getting out of the 30s. Now, here comes our Gulf low uh, for Saturday. And you start to see snow breaking out in parts of southern Ohio, a little ice there in the mountains of western North Carolina and western Virginia. Uh, the low uh, eventually will reform somewhere along the Virginia coast. And now this is where it gets uh, tough for us in the forecast. There's a cold high that's going to be building into eastern Canada. I'm going to just roll it back. It's a little hard to see. Uh, it's east of James Bay, so it's kind of off the top of the map there. Uh, models were trying to hold that high in for a, a couple of days. Uh, but now it seems like it wants to give way, and that allows this low to take a track a little bit closer to the coast. And I think that uh, means that 
uh, perhaps for the coastal areas, the immediate coastal areas like Long Island, down into central and southern New Jersey, coastal and southern New Jersey, maybe even into southeast PA, down into Delaware, that there would be either a change to rain or that it might be mostly rain, at least at the start. Uh, but I'm still a little bit cautious here that we might wind up with some jogging. This system is not as well developed as what previous model runs have shown. So I want to pay attention to that. Uh, and uh, the, the normal jogs up and down, north, south, east, and west, it's, there's still some room here because we're still about four and a half days away. In the meantime, we probably could say with increasing confidence and matching that WPC forecast that the inland areas, uh, northern New Jersey, the Hudson Valley and points north, Connecticut, uh, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, away from the ocean anyway, will probably see their first uh, accumulating snows uh, of the season. So I, I, I feel fairly confident for the inland areas, less so for the coast. Uh, sometimes you can get a little cold air to come in on the backside of something like this where you get a, a, an inch or so on the backside. Uh, not impossible. Uh, but right now the models have kind of backed off from a more well-developed low further south and east. Once that goes out, we're going to get a break Monday into Tuesday, but look at what's coming out of Texas. We have a deep low that, uh, by deep I mean intense, uh, that develops uh, and is sitting there in southwestern Arkansas uh, early Tuesday morning, runs up toward the Great Lakes, and with a big high moving out to the east of us in eastern Canada and, and over Atlantic Canada, the gradient gets extremely tight here later Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday. So we could see a windswept soaking rain. Might be a little snow at the start. There might be a little bit of snow there at the front end. But it's going to be a windswept soaking rain. Anything that accumulates over the weekend is all going to get washed away by this. Uh, so just bear that in mind. And uh, the, some of the models are fairly aggressive with some of the wind gusts here Tuesday night into early Wednesday morning. And then that storm will move away and weather conditions uh, will improve. I think maybe it will we'll have impact with snow in the inland spots, but this storm may produce bigger problems uh, with the uh, rain and and the wind, which I think uh, may wind up being a bigger issue. And we'll also probably see severe weather in parts of the southeast U.S. with this as uh, the weather front associated with this low swings on through. And we've got all this upper air energy uh, to trigger off some uh, strong thunderstorms in the southeastern part of the United States. And again, this is for later Tuesday, Tuesday night into Wednesday of next week. So we're going to be talking all about this uh, in, in detail tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show podcast, and that's at 7.35 p.m. Eastern time.